Hello. I wanted to share with you that I purchased the 998 Pro drone, which has two cameras. This is an inexpensive drone that I mainly acquired for learning purposes, and I want to share the experience with this drone. Now let's see what this box has inside. We have control. With antennas, which are only for decoration. At the back, we open and find the compartment for three AA batteries. Here at the bottom, we have the hook or extension, where the cell phone would be placed, and thus be able to see the images from the cameras. This would be the drone. And this thin thread that sticks out would be the antenna. This antenna has a part of the wavelength necessary to receive the commands made from the control. Right here, we have the drone battery. We press carefully, and remove the battery from the back. Here is the connector through which the drone battery is charged. Actually, the fully charged battery keeps the drone in flight for about 5 to 8 minutes. We carefully reinsert the battery. On this other side, we have the camera that always points downwards. And this other one, which we can move manually, and place it at four different angles. Inside the box, we will find the protectors for the propellers, which would be placed on each of the extensions of each propeller and thus be able to protect them from any collision. We remove this white plastic. We found several things. A plastic bag, where the cable comes to charge the drone's batteries, which is done using a cell phone charger. I recommend getting a cell phone charger that is not fast charging or direct to the computer. Inside the bag, we also got two spare propellers. In addition, a mini screwdriver comes to install the propeller protectors or to replace the propellers themselves. If we continue looking inside the box, we will find the leaflet where the icon is that will help us install the app, which we must use on the cell phone. And well, there is also the manual that nobody reads. ¿Quieres movilizar dinero en cualquier parte del mundo o invertir en criptomonedas? En la descripción de este video puedes encontrar el enlace de invitación a Coinbase. Let's get our hands on the drone. We deploy the wings or the extensions for the propellers. We turn on the drone on this button. We take control. We turn it on. And to activate with the drone, with the left command, we give it, up, down. And then, the two commands, to the upper lateral ends diagonally. And once the drone is activated, we turn off the propellers with the left control down. And finally, we turn off the drone in the same place we turned it on. If you are liking the video, and the content of the channel, take a moment, subscribe, which is free, like, and share. If you want to make a donation and continue with the channel's content, you can do so through pypalangelmaratgmail.com. I'll leave the information in the comments. Now to install the app, we scan the code on the brochure that came in the drone box. We select, Google Play. And this is the app that we are going to install. Wi-Fi Cam. After it is installed, we open it. We select, Allow. We get this screen. Now, we go to the menu of our cell phone. We select or turn on the Wi-Fi command. And having the drone turned on, which works as a UAI-FAI, we select the one that appears with the name, Wi-Fi 8K. 
The cell phone tells us that there is no internet connection, so we choose to connect only this time, or always connect. According to each person's taste. We go back to the app, Wi-Fi Cam. I share some of the images, and some comments. To see the maneuverability of the drone, I placed the camera about a meter away from the wall. Distanciada a un metro de la pared. In this maneuverability test, the camera is three meters away from the wall. The maneuverability of the drone depends on the agility and reflexes of the drone pilot. In the following images, there was a wind of just under 10 km per hour. And it is somewhat tiring, since you have to fight against the wind, and the worry of not harming the drone, and the constant maneuvering, make the moment frustrating. In these images, there were winds greater than 10 km. And it was difficult to keep the drone in flight. Getting back to the topic, I expected there to be a wind of no more than 5 kilometers. And I got these images. You can use this type of drone in open places, where the winds are less than 10 kilometers, or you could lose your drone. The less wind, the better the quality of the images we take. Of course, taking into account the low quality of the cameras that this drone has. So they can use it in places with almost zero winds, or in closed structures, if they plan to use their cameras. Thus, for those who want to have a drone to use professionally, according to the commercial sector, it is preferable to obtain a drone with GPS, a stabilizer, that has motors with sufficient power, and many other functions that drones currently offer. Para los temas del canal, por Paypal, tal como lo ves en los comentarios. Gracias.